My name is Olivia and I am a third year student on the Tech Arts course. My piece is closely connected to my culture. Of, I'm a Romani Gypsy and so I've always wanted to do a piece which is significant to me and represents the history of my family and my culture. I've always been interested in like creatures and creature designs but I've always wanted to sort of link that into the culture and so my creatures um, represent various issues and various historical moments that are important in the Romani Gypsy history, um, such as the persecution and the genocide of gypsies. The creature sort of represent the struggles from deep within and she's dealing with sort of the demons inside of her that resurface from time to time and in a way of an, an acceptance of those demons inside of her and um, living and continuing to live life the way they have been for many years. But um, understanding and accepting that history is a really important part of their culture. What I try to show is um, a deep-rooted issue within the Romani Gypsy culture and the community and how they deal with those kind of struggles and how that has now reflected on their community in the way that they ostracize themselves from the rest of the world and of a very private community. And it discusses issues of their history and how their demons from within and how they sort of accept them and continue to live on with them. But I think it's always that kind of thing that will sort of be there and will always be present in um, of like in their identity and who they are. Um, but the general aesthetic of it was supposed to be quite serene and beautiful. The culture is beautiful and um, they are beautiful people. I think it's just supposed to kind of represent the richness of the culture and what comes with it and the struggles that do come with the culture. Mm. For the creatures, I sculpted the heads in monster clay so I could get all the nice details and um, the wrinkles as monster clay is much easier to work with when it comes to detail. The bodies were done in wet clay purely because of um, it being more accessible and cheaper. The hands and feet, same because of the detail, were sculpted in monster clay. I then moulded the sculptures in a platinum cure silicon, um, which is a great silicon to work with when casting in Silskin 10, which is what this re realistic lifelike skin effect um, is. It's a great material. And then once all of this was casted, you do all the nice seaming, uh, touched it all up, combined all the pieces because they're all separate molds. Um, the hands and feet are separate molds, the body's a separate mold and the heads. So after that, I start to colour and give all the nice details, colour the nipples and give the sort of textured feeling. And I hair punched it. We had a lovely tutor, Sue Day, from Madame Two Swords, and she taught us how to hair punch and colour, and that was amazing. For the woman, I did a life cast of my grandmother. So I did a life cast of her hands and her face, um, and then I casted it in monster clay, touched it all up, fixed up the nostrils and so on. And then same with, like I did for the creatures, I molded in silicon, a platinum cure silicon, and casted it in a platinum cure silicon called Silskin 10. So for this set, I um, try to sort of get themes which are quite um, common in a Romani Gypsy household, which is a lot of shiny, a lot of gold, a lot of velvet, red carpets. The dress obviously is a massive part of the set. I um, wanted a small touch of religion, which was um, a painting of Mother Mary, which was really important to have there. And some family photos from our band back in the 1970s. Um, so it's very significant of their culture and how they've managed to keep that tradition up for as long as they could. I've got my granddad's, my great, great, great granddad and my great, great granddad, um, who's her dad. <laughs> so this is my grandmother. And so I really wanted to sort of incorporate my family into my piece since it's my culture and I wanted to make it as significant as possible. It's one of like the nicest photos we have. 